Okay, let's try crawling towards Pierce then. Yeah, defeat the gigantic BOW. Where was that prompt earlier before, huh? What fucking ever, what fucking ever, man! What the hell? Premature discharge much? Pierce, come on, just stay with me. You're gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Captain. I did it. For the BSAA. For the future. I did it. For the rock. I did it. For the people. I did it. I did, uh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. I know. You did a real good thing. As long as you. I don't want to hear it. We're both getting out of here. You. That's a lie, and you know it. Let's go. Depressurization process complete. Unsealing doors now. We're gonna get you through this, Pierce. You hear me? Oh my god, if there's any more enemies, I'm going to be so fucking furious. After all the shit I just went through. Facilities infrastructure compromised. Unable to withstand water pressure. All personnel, please evacuate immediately. Oh my god, it doesn't end! Stand back, Captain! I can kill this thing! Warning, the facility is under compromise. Unable to withstand water pressure. All personnel, please Hurry up, Zap Face! Warning. Facility infrastructure compromised. Unable to withstand water pressure. All personnel, please evacuate immediately. Zap faster, zap faster! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Warning. Facility... Come on, Pierce, let's go! Come on, man, we go get out of here. I think. I mean, things aren't looking so good for you, but. Oh, boy. Damn it. Just go! No. You're gonna be okay. Haven't I lost enough We're people? Pick a pod, any pod. See that? We'll be out of here in no time. Oh no, he's crystallizing. He's toast. Come on. Got it. Here we go, Pierce. He's, de here. he's dead meat. <laughs> and he knows it. Oh, no. Pierce! No, don't do this! Open the door! God damn it! Listen to me! We can still both get out of here! Still time! What are you doing? No, Pierce! 
Fucking hero, man. Piers, open the goddamn door. That's an order. No. Fucking hero. Piers! Wow. You know, for all the shit I just went through, that's... Wow. Huh? Oh, come on! You fucking serious? Why don't they ever stay dead? Oh shit! Oh wow! That was Pierce saying a big old fuck you to that guy. <laughs> oh man. Now? You're opening it now? You gonna swim? There'd be sharks in these waters. Man. Even for all the shit I just went through, I would have never expected that. None of that. That is hardcore as all balls, man. And, and there's a helicopter, again! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that final battle was horrendous. That whole thing with that gigantic jellyfish was just... Oh my god, I have such a freaking headache, but it's a shame too, you know? That ending was something else. I would have never expected that. That was a hell of an ending. I wouldn't have expected Pierce to lose his damn arm, drawl himself up to get a new one, and then sacrifice himself like that. Just he just badass the entire way, but that entire end, uh, that entire final battle just killed the whole thing for me. I must have died like 18,000 times. Ran out of ammo. God only knows what else. I like to... And the sad thing is, I have a feeling it's only going to get worse from here because, you know, now it's time for Ada. And Ada runs by her lonesome. So now I'm not going to have any sort of backup whatsoever. I'm going to be royally fucked if something uh, bad happens. But you know what? After this, I'm not even going to touch this game for a while. I mean, I still, I still have to render the last two chapters before this as we're speaking. But... That's, I think I think I'm just going to wait until I render the entire Chris saga completely before I touch this game because I need a break. I don't think I can really handle the horrendous bullshit that I just had to put up to again so early on with Ada's game. If it indeed happens, and you know it probably happens. <sighs> I wish I could have enjoyed that ending a lot more, but that final boss battle is not making it easy. This whole game, I mean, this whole campaign, man, it's nothing, nothing but fucking cheap deaths. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I just had an epiphany. You know what? I think when everybody shot on this game, they were talking about the Chris story. They were talking about how it's all Gears of War and Call of Duty and whatnot, and obviously we got an army guy, Chris, who has been as who has been such ever since day one, Resident Evil. He's always been some sort of special ops asshole. You know, we got all this, and then there was all the cheap deaths that I had uh, that I personally suffered in this, and then there was that final battle. And when you think about it like that, 
then it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense as to why they would have, uh, why they would have hated this, uh, this game. But the way I see it, they probably didn't play, uh, Leon's story or Jake's story because, uh, Leon's story was great. The whole zombie aspect and personally, I rather enjoyed the Jake story, you know, when you, in a nostalgic sense because, you know, I rather like the whole Ustinak gimmick and this whole stalker thing and, you know, Jake was a badass and I rather enjoyed Sherry. I played a little as Jake, and I got all the, you know, all the crap, all the emblems from, uh, his story. So I played a little as him, and he actually plays pretty cool. That whole hand-to-hand -hand combat thing is no joke. And through all this, I don't think I got a terrible lot of, uh, <laughs> snake emblems. <laughs> but anyways, you know, if they played Chris first, then I can completely understand why they're all so pissy and huffy, you know, three, you know, three out of ten. This game sucks. I hate it. But you know what the sad thing is? Seeing how it is that more, more than likely people are going to be uh, playing this with other people, like, you know, DSP has John Rambo, and there was, those, there was this uh, one video series I saw where these two uh, British chicks were playing the game. You know, they have someone else. At least they have someone to control the other guy. I didn't have that sort of luxury. It was just me. So, for all I know, the sad thing is, is that they were probably, uh, you know, doing this no problem. They're probably just blasting through without a care in the world. Uh, but man, I tell you, some of those fucking deaths, man. If I, <laughs> I'm gonna see DSP's uh, video playthrough of this final level. I'm gonna see, uh, you know, the, the chicks, and I'm gonna see how long it takes for them to get past this, uh, the parts that were giving me trouble. Because you know, not only was it that, but it was the fact that I actually lost my commentary for. Um, the video, two videos before this, and I honestly don't know how that happened. I'm actually afraid that I'm gonna lose the video for, uh, or not the video, maybe the video, you know, all things considered. Lose something, one of the video or the audio for this, but, you know, I'm just going to sit back and stretch, and I'm just gonna let this play out. You guys can enjoy the credits and whatnot, and we'll see Chris's epilogue, Chris and Peter's, you know, God rest his soul, and we'll see if we get, you know, he gets the burial he properly deserves for such a heroic sacrifice, because I said it before and I'll say it again, I would never saw that coming, so I'm gonna go chill out, I'm gonna freaking breathe, and yeah, you guys can enjoy this. I'm out of here.
Captain. We've received new orders. All right. Better get to it then. Yes, sir. You have got to be kidding me!